Hello everyone. I have been making some junk journals. I made a few of them lately. And one thing that I enjoy doing when I make a junk journal, I like to fill it with journaling cards. I get questions about journaling cards. What are they? What do you use them for? How do you make them? You know, what do you do with them? So I wanted to show some of the things that I do with journaling cards. This is one of my journaling cards. I made this from a travel brochure. I think it was for a birding trail or something. It was a long card and I cut off the top and the bottom because I really liked the picture. On the back was you know, descriptions, you know, hours for museums, whatever it was, I'm not sure. Uh, I didn't really need that part. So I just went ahead and collaged some papers, some security envelopes and things on the back of this. And then I put a layer of white acrylic paint so that I could write on this journaling card. This is a quote or it's a letter that F. Scott Fitzgerald wrote to his daughter, I think. But I really liked it, and I really wanted to read this again, and I wanted to put it in a junk journal. So, journaling cards are a place for extra space for you to write on, to journal on, uh, to write something about what happened during the day. They're fun to find inside junk journals, and regular journals. You can clip them on pages with paper clips or binder clips. You can put them in pockets. They're just a little extra space. A little place to put something. Maybe you didn't have your journal with you. You wanted to write yourself a note. You wanted to remember something. So you got a piece of paper and wrote down a note on something else. You can glue that onto a journaling card. So journaling cards are for extra journaling. They're for quotes, if you like to save quotes. They're for notes and letters from you or to you, from somebody that you is very important to you. They're for memories or you know record keeping. They can be used for just about anything. That's what a journaling card is. So let me give you some ideas on different ways to make journaling cards. They can be any size, any shape. They can be anything. I'm gonna. I, my pile here starts with some paint chips, just regular paint chips, and on the back I put some paper, a word a picture, a magazine picture, another magazine picture on this one. Maybe it's your favorite color. Maybe you like the name of it. This one was an odd shaped. Write yourself a note or write somebody that you care about a note. This was an odd shaped paint chip. I just glued two of them together. I like to save quotes. I find them in magazines and different places. I just clipped them out of the magazine and glued them onto this piece of cardstock. I find quotes just about anywhere. So here is an advertisement, an old fashioned one. It's Smokey the Bear. I love Smokey the Bear. It came out of National Geographic, I think. I like that. I want to keep it. I'm just going to glue it on a piece of paper. Some favorite photographs. If you find some picture in a magazine that you really like, it's a great way to save those. Printouts. You can glue two pictures, magazine pictures together. One picture folded in half glued together to make a card. It gives you space to write on or to do whatever you want. Leave it the way it is. Here's a piece of cardstock I stenciled on one side. Put the picture on the other side. Another glued two pictures together. Cardstock. 
Another quote, a quote from An Andy Warhol. I put this on a piece of packaging and then put that on the back. ATCs are great. Tags are great to add just a little bit of artwork or a quote or whatever. They're fun to make. They're easy. They're, they're small so that they don't take very much time. You can add these to your books. The scrapbook paper packs, when you buy the big books, a lot of times they will come with journaling cards. And you can just cut these apart. They've got a white space on the back. You can just write on the backs of them. So that's all these are, are from scrapbook paper bits. Store-bought ephemera. Tim Holtz has great store-bought ephemera. Um, sometimes they're double-sided. You can add another piece of paper, use them as they are. I love buying these things. I buy packs and packs of them. I never know what to do with them. They are great to add into pockets, clip onto pages. The smash book thingies. You get the little papers, all kinds of different things. Here's a, a hangman game, tic-tac-toe. These are fun to put inside pockets and such. The um, These are life cards. We get them, we find them on sale, we buy them, and then what do we do with them? They're great for junk journals and pockets. This is a piece of junk mail advertising a bank. I love the ruby slippers. So I just cut the ruby slippers off. I will probably glue a piece of paper to the back so I can cover that up. I don't necessarily want all that. Put something, a different picture on the back or something like that. Here's a postcard. Postcards advertising gallery openings or events. I love these postcards. You can make them your own or just put them in just the way they are. This one I found at a Florida Welcome Center about Florida honey tangerines. Travel brochures. These are the single pieces of cardstock. Oftentimes I find them with really great pictures. I love that. I'll probably just cut off the top, cut off the bottom. Here's all the details for it. I don't necessarily want all that. So I can glue, you know, more paper on top of here, paint over it so I can add my own whatever I want on top of that. You can find some really cool ones. Um, here is a travel, this was a map in Savannah, it was a big card, and I used that other part of the card for something else, this was just a leftover bit, but I liked that, I thought it was cute. So I glued a copy of one of my grandmother's postcards on the other side. Here's a printout from the internet, I just glued the two pieces together to make one piece a wine label put on a piece of cardstock a map collage if someone's moving and you want to uh, give them a little bit of fun trying to find where they live postcards are great old postcards I love to read old postcards they always have great pictures and stuff on them or even a new postcard, write your own letter to somebody. Or maybe send yourself a postcard so that you can put it into your, your book. I like to use my own photographs. I print them out and then put little collages on the back. You can print out 
pictures of yourself in various ages and write your memories down on the back, what you remember, what you liked about that event um, so that somebody else can remember when you're not around anymore. Travel photographs. You went someplace special. This one is Hawaii. I don't have any idea who I found this somewhere in a thrift shop or something. Old snapshots like that are really fun to find. Family photographs are great. I um, gave my granddaughter a, a book a couple years ago and I put in quite a few of the old family photographs and on the backs of the photographs I wrote who they were, you know, what their names were, what their birthdays were, what their relationship to her was. This is actually my grandmother when she was 16 and that's the same grandmother when she was about six. But it's really fun to give old family photographs to family members and write your memories of that person or something about the person, of something about yourself. I love little tea bag containers and here is a picture of my great grandmother that fits just perfectly inside that. I'll probably clip that onto a page. This is just a copy of the picture. I can print out another one of these if I want, if I lose it, if something happens to it. It's just a copy. Not really, you know, it's special, but if it gets lost, you know, just print another one. And here is a picture of one of my collages. I really like that. So I'm just going to put that into a pocket. I also like flash cards game cards, um, playing cards. You can use them as they are or put paper on them so that you can write on them. Trivia cards. I enjoy finding these in my books. I really like question and answer type cards. Game pieces. I do buy um, games from thrift shops. I don't care if they're missing pieces. In fact, I like it when they're missing pieces and then I don't feel guilty about tearing them apart for their bits. Little cards. Um, here's the clue. The clue envelope with, a, with some cards in it. Very fun to find in pockets. Pokemon cards. Sports cards. Little miniature playing cards are always fun for me. I love those. Here's some other ideas of things that you can put in junk journals. The little treat bags are great. You can put things in the bags. You can write on them, clip them in. Envelopes of all kinds of sizes. I've got some store body ephemera inside this one. You can make your own envelopes, put stuff inside. Little note cards, I love the shape of these. These would be great to write a little note, write a memory, write a letter to somebody, put it in the card and clip it on a page. Business cards, calendar pages, this joke I really, really, really liked. I wanted to save that. I will probably glue it on a piece of cardstock so that it was it'll last a little longer. But I thought that was hilarious. I do like magazine um what do they call them? Magazine articles. Sometimes I like what they have to say a little bit, you know, of something it's interesting to read. I will probably put that on a piece of cardstock or something. This came on the cover of the Oklahoma travel brochure. I love these moving thingy majiggers. This one's made of plastic, so I'd have to glue paper on it so that I can write on the back. But I couldn't throw that away. It's too cool. Plane tickets, recipe cards. Maybe you're giving 
the junk journal to somebody, um, a granddaughter or something, and you want to share some of your recipes. Bookmarks, you can find these anywhere. Bookstores, library. I found that one at a library. Ask a librarian. I loved that one. Thought it was cool. They're fun to find in pockets. Here is a or another one of those moving things. It's um, it's a Valentine. I got on 90% off way after Valentine's. But look at that. It's so cute. No one has to know that this used to be a Valentine. You can put paper on it, another picture, something else. Stickers are great. Tickets for some place that you've been you want to remember. Play money is always a favorite with me. I love it when they're double-sided. I like to make little paper dolls, little critters, little nitwits. Those are fun for pockets. And you can even write something fun. You are awesome on the kitty. 3D glasses. Lottery tickets are fun to find in pockets. Tickets of all kinds. And you can write on, on these things too. You can write on all of this stuff. If it doesn't have a blank spot to write on, you can glue a piece of paper to them. So that's all journaling cards are. They're just an extra little bit, an extra space for you to write on. They're just fun. They're fun to make. They're fun to find. They're fun to have. And I think they really do make a junk journal special. I think that's it. There are so many other ways that you can do journaling cards. This is just a fraction of what you can do with journaling cards. There's so much more. Um, sky's the limit. Go out, make some journaling cards. They are a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.